And let's go to our next caller. Welcome to our question and answer program. Please go ahead with your call. Thanks, Chris. Could you look at James 3, verse 11? Sure. I'll read the verse, and then you can ask your question. Doth a fountain send forth at the same place sweet water and bitter? Yes. My question, uh, the next verse uses the word salt water and fresh, and so I don't know if salt compares with bitter, and I don't know if this word bitter is the same in Revelation. Verse 9 of the little book that was bitter, what it has to do with compares salt with bitter. Oh, oh, yeah, I see. I think what you're getting to. Are you thinking that the salt water, which is identified as bitter here, or related to bitter, and then in Revelation 10, where it speaks of bitter water, how typically salt identifies with judgment? Is that what you're thinking? Yes, wondering. Yeah, well, yeah, that's possible. Let's read in Revelation 10, verse 9. I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up, and it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. And this does relate to the gospel proclamation in the day of judgment. It's the word of God. So God's word is likened to honey. Because out of the belly from the people of God flows rivers of living water. According to what the Lord Jesus said in the gospel of John, out of the belly flows rivers of living water. But, however, in the day of judgment, it's bitter in the belly the word of God is no longer saving, and therefore the water is turned bitter. Now, I think what I did when I went through this in the Revelation study was tie the word bitter to false prophets or false gospels that bring a gospel in which there's no salvation. But I think what you're saying is probably more correct, that it has to do with the salt the salt of judgment or the wrath of God, as God has shut the door of heaven. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound. And the seventh angel sounded on May 21, 2011, with a prolonged trumpet blast, because this is a prolonged day of judgment. And really, it's as though the trumpet is sounding for 22 years or 23 inclusive years. It's turned the water bitter, so the water that flows forth from the Holy Spirit, as the Holy Spirit in the day of salvation would flow forth a gospel that had power to save, but in the day of judgment, that's not the case, and therefore it's as bitter water. So I think that is a good tie-in. 